Because they said uh, the moon has no light of its own, but it positioned itself, listen carefully, at the correct angle to the sun. That the moon is like a glass. Though the Bible said God created two great lights, one to shine in the day and the other to rule in the night. But scientists found, they said, that that great light of the night is like a glass. It only positions itself at a correct angle and it reflects the light of the sun effortlessly. It does not generate heat. The sun generates the heat, the moon reflects it, and it dominates, okay? That's why, while you are happy, the sun and during the day somewhere, some other people somewhere, they are having the moon because the moon position itself at the correct angle. What am I saying? We all are reflector of the light of God's glory. You must understand that. You are a reflector or a reflective of the light of his glory. Please share this. Let somebody connect and be blessed. Hallelujah. As human being, as a child of God, you reflect the light of the glory of God. We are reflector of his glory. It means the more you position yourself, to God's light at a correct angle, you effortlessly shine the light of His glory. Many people struggle with shining simply because they thought it's going to be by their efforts. You are going to need the energy like the sun to generate the kind of reflection that you need but the easy way to shine your light is to position yourself at a correct angle to the light of his glory and effortlessly reflect the glory of God I pray for you today that your life will reflect the glory of God you will actually will not need more than that. You will not need more than that to be the kind of person God has created you to be. If you position yourself rightly. So somebody may ask, how do I position myself to reflect the light of his glory? Kambako Shambaliata Lekupara Kazir let me pray this prayer again. That your life will be a reflection of the glory of God in the name of Jesus. That is actually one of the most powerful prayers you will ever say amen to. Because when a man reflects the glory of God, he shines in his world. The world recognizes that something is happening in his life. And by the way, you need to take note. Each of us reflect the light of his glory, but we manifest it to our world in different ways. Each of us carry the glory. When we position ourselves, we reflect the glory, but in the manifestation, is different to our world. Some are manifesting it in business, Manifesting it in, in generosity, in our treat, in evangelism, manifesting it in every kind of ways of human endeavors. And I pray you will be a direct reflection of God's glory. Now look at it. How do you reflect it? Simple. The word of the Lord says, as we behold him in a glass, the glory of God are changed. From glory 
to glory as by the Spirit of God, as we behold Him, as we behold Him, as we behold Him. How do you behold God? Number one, you behold God through His Word. The Word of God is a reflection of God. The closer, the proximity to God's Word is your proximity to His glory. When you behold the glory of God in His Word, you reflect it back. You reflect it. When you are not close to God's Word or reading God's Word and meditating on God's Word, you will never know how you can shine in the world. Hallelujah. That is number one way to behold God and reflect His glory. Number two is to obey whatever you read. When you obey God's word, you are actually reflecting his glory. You are manifesting his glory. You are glorifying God in love of men. I pray for you today that your life, your family, your business will be a reflection of God's glory. I am additional gentry and wiping away your tears today in the name of Jesus. Lift your voice, lift your hands and say, Father, I receive grace to reflect your glory to my word. Mashebrata, ikapariaza, entabale koparadi, ezubre keri maranda, ifarosile, eperilaka, entantun donde, berezia, barata, ekeketuza. Lord, today I take grace, I take grace to manifest, to reflect. The light of your glory. I take grace. Arabaranta, a parabaya, barabratali. I receive grace to be correctly positioned. To be correctly positioned and reflect to the mass the glory of God. Shakabaya, parata, 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 parata. Lord, today I take grace. I take grace to be correctly positioned. Ah, Baba, Barazi, Bredea. In the name of Jesus. You know, it's very important for you as a child of God to know what God wants for you in life. The reason why many grow up in darkness of life. Not having result or what to do, and they're getting tired, getting frustrated. It's simple. You are not doing what God wants you to do. You are not in the line and plan of God. You are not correctly positioned. You think your effort is what will get result. There's no doubt that you need to put effort. But when you put effort in the wrong place, it ends in, a, in, a, in zero. Result will not be seen. But when your efforts is directed in the place God has planted you, you are reflecting the glory. Just imagine the moon is trying to shine in Africa by this time around in the morning. It's not going to be noticed. Nobody will notice the moon. It needs to go where the darkness is and let the sun coming out today reflect there. You must be in the plan and purpose of God for your life. That is how you reflect God's glory. Every good effort, good energy you put out must be in the place where God has planted you. Are you hearing me? I pray for you today. Every power pushing you out of the place of God's blessing collapse today in the name of Jesus. People are trying to jump, fly, travel, and go somewhere else. I know, I know there's no doubt that there are people that need to travel and migrate. But you know what? If God doesn't want you anywhere else, you miss it, you are missing out of glory. The Bible said, anyone that walk out of the place of understanding, I call it the place of vision, the place of purpose, we remain in the congregation of the dead. That's why we have great Nigerian in Nigeria who travel Japa and they are suffering where they went. Why? God doesn't want them anywhere else. 
They miss out on God's plan. There are people